Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Here's Saturday's video. Saturday, Saturdays, I, on Saturdays, I do Cellar Saturday where I drink something off the shelves behind me. And really excited for this one. It is from 2018. It's courtesy of my friend Gabe. Thanks, Gabe. I really appreciate it. Um, if I remember correctly, either he gave me two or like we tried a bottle fresh, and that's why I aged one. Uh, so I have had this fresh. I just don't remember exactly how I had it fresh. Uh, I'm kind of on a Trogues kick. So I was like, well, you know, it kind of ticks all the boxes I want right now. I wanted another Trogues beer because Nugget Nectar continues to blow my mind. Um, and uh, it's got adjuncts in it, which I'm trying to drink down my uh, adjuncted beers behind me just because they fade so fast. So this is Impending Descent, stout brewed with vanilla beans and cocoa, aged in bourbon barrels. 12% um, ABV, it's a house ale yeast, uh, says oak bourbon barrel. Additions, besides the vanilla and cocoa, and it does, it does spell out cocoa, not cacao, um, it's Demera, probably mispronouncing that, sugar. Uh, one day we got the urge to one-up our already colossal imperial stout, and we're glad we did. Four months in bourbon barrels has smoothed the sharp edges of impending descent and armfuls of chocolate, vanilla, and raw cane sugar make it a meal. <laughs> a warm, rel uh, I'm sorry, a warm, velvety, intense meal. If you have the patience, you could tuck a few away in your cellar, but we think it's ready for your glass. Well, I did tuck one away in my cellar. Hearing a lot of like back and forth, should you or should you not cellar beer? I mean, yeah. not every beer, obviously, but you got breweries like this saying you can cellar some, you know, like, I don't know. I've been rewarded selling some beers, so I'm going to keep doing it. But I am drinking down what I have now first. <gasps> Uh-oh. I just said all that and there was no pop. <gasps> Let's see. Proper glassware. It's a little taster I got at Trogues. Yeah, see, it's got a carb. Uh, it's a four and a half. If I, uh, I filled it just a little bit over the line, that's four and a half ounces. I just love this glass so much, and I don't care that's small and probably looks goofy on camera. But yeah, it's a pretty dark beer. I can smell some vanilla. The uh, barrel aging seems a little short to me, so I'm curious how much barrel I get out of it. But that's a dark looking beer. When I say 12%, uh, let's go and see aroma. <sighs> Chocolate, van I mean, smells like those two adjuncts for sure. I mean, definitely chocolatey. Um, even beyond just chocolate you would get in a stout or you could get in a stout like it it, it smells a way where it's like not uh, not surprising it has some sort of uh, you know chocolate cacao nib like it like it's it seems to have a little extra help to get that level the vanilla is relatively soft and again this is actually a little over five years in the bottle so I mean the fact that those adjuncts are there at all impressive Soft wood, more vanilla. It almost has a, um, like it has a very real vanilla flavor or uh, aroma. That reminds me of like, almost like a vanilla that you would have in, um, when I say cotton candy, not cotton candy, uh, uh, like a taffy. Kind of like a vanilla taffy. But then very much, very real vanilla. Don't smell the alcohol. It's, I mean, it smells as advertised. It's not overly complex. It's kind of a weird thing because, and I've said this in other videos where, like, if I don't rattle off five things that it smells like, it makes me feel like I'm making it sound like the beer doesn't smell good. It, it smells like the adjuncts. It smells a little stouty. It's as advertised. It smells really good, you know, but I, there's not a lot of depth and complexity to it. So, you know, it's not that aroma for sure, but it does smell really good as someone who loves chocolate and vanilla. So let's get into the glass. Cheers. Thanks again, Gabe. Hope you guys are doing well. That's delicious. Wow, that's good. That's good. You, you know what? I made that point about it uh, not being barrel aged for very long. You do get some nice oak. Some really nice oak. 
a little bit of bourbon. Like on the aftertaste, not alcohol heat, but the, but the taste of bourbon. Lingering chocolate. It's not sweet enough where it makes me think of like those, um, you know, liquor, liqueur filled chocolates. It's not that sweet. So my mind doesn't go there, but like those flavors in my mind do pair well. So you do have some chocolate lingering. I just, I've had beers where it almost kind of taste like they're sweet and have everything else going on where it almost tastes like that. You know, this is not that though. Um, soft vanilla. It's a very, I, I don't know if it's the, the aging uh, that I did or the beer itself. I think vanilla can also help with this, but it's a very melded experience. I mean, and time can definitely help that. Vanilla can help, you know, round out sharp edges, so to speak. So this is a very melded beer. Kind of like the aroma. It's, it's as advertised, you know. Uh, I do get some more roastiness. Than it, I did not get any roastiness in the aroma. I do get a little bit of roastiness in the taste. Uh, that presents some dark chocolate notes as well as like there's a sweeter chocolate notes. There's just stout chocolate notes. So you're getting some complexity there, which is nice, even though it's all in the chocolate realm. Um, I wouldn't say coffee for roast. I don't think it gets like that intense where I would say like an espresso or coffee level. But definitely, you know, a little, there's a little bit there, which is nice. Add some depth. Blueberry, a little bit of that. Some warmth in the chest. No alcohol in the taste, like no burn or anything. Just like subtle, you know it's 10% or higher, but it's, there's no actual alcohol taste, which is nice. This is just a nice sip, man. Smooth too. Kind of like dangerously smooth. Nice level of bitterness too. It, it, it's got how like dark chocolate has that bitterness. That's how it hits. And then there's just a little bit of um, vegetal bitterness from the hops, right? But like, like it, it doesn't take you out of the sip, but there's just so much chocolate. There is some vanilla. I'm not even playing the vanilla police. It's just as a huge fan of chocolate, I'm like really happy with the level of chocolate in this beer. It doesn't take me out of it at all. But like that bitterness is so interesting because it does hit like dark chocolate, except there's just that little thread of, you know, vegetal where it's like, no, it's not. I mean, it could be some of the chocolate, but it's, or like maybe roasting malts can kick up bitters. I don't even know. But like, just like that vegetal thing. Yeah, this is really good. This is aged beautifully. Um, and yeah, I mean, when there wasn't a pop, I got a little nervous. You saw and heard that. But this drink's great. has some carb. Not mad at this at all. Only bottle I have. That's also okay. But yeah, I really like it. Gabe, thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. If you guys have beer before, have you had anything from Trogues lately? Uh, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get those conversations going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.